welcome to your new semester at Endicott. I'm Marie Wilson. And I'm Nate Magoon. Welcome back to Campus Goals. Let's take a look at what's happening this week across campus. On Wednesday, the campus will be celebrating 12 hours of light with a day of caring. This day is dedicated to kindness and remembrance, the community featuring multiple projects and events to choose from on and off campus. Check your Blue Buzz email for more information on the events and participation opportunities. Also on Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the Study Abroad Fair will be held in the LSB Auditorium. On Wednesday evenings, there are tutoring sessions for nursing and bio majors in the library. Check your Blue Buzz email to see the designated rooms, times, and subjects. Want to make some new friends in a fun and stress-free environment? At 515, try out some improv theater taking place in room 210 in the VPAC for an open rehearsal. Is watching others act out more your thing? Check out the film club in Wax 128 at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m., there will be a Relay for Life interest meeting in the hospitality suite. Stop by to learn more about the positive impact that you can have on the community. At 8 p.m., the open practice for percussion ensemble will be taking place in room 124 in the VPAC. Stop by and learn more about the musical opportunities here at Endicott. Also at 8 p.m., do your part in the fight against hunger and sign up for the Riverhouse Homeless Shelter Meal Deliveries. 30 minutes is all it takes to help out. There will also be food deliveries taking place Friday and Sunday night. Sign up for any night through the link in your Blue Buzz email. On Thursday at 4 p.m., volunteers are needed for the first responder dinner located at the Beverly Council on Aging. Tasks include cooking, prepping, and serving for first responders around our community. Do your part and sign up through the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 6 p.m., there will be an open jazz band rehearsal in room 124 in the VPAC. Come and try out your musical skills and make some new friends. And at 6.30, there will be an upperclassman ice cream social with Dr. DeSalvo at Beechwood. Come enjoy some yummy treats and meet our new president. At 9 p.m., it's 21 plus night in Gullies. On Friday at 10 a.m., the Community Giving Tree is looking for volunteers to help sort and organize donations and to work with the social service partners to distribute clothing and baby equipment to local families in need. You can sign up through the link in your Blue Buzz email. At 2 p.m., come join the open rehearsal for the recording studio, room 125, in the VPAC to learn more about all the great equipment and musical opportunities Endicott offers. Also at 2 p.m., Landmark is looking for volunteers to help out with Feel Good Fridays at Landmark Senior Living in Beverly. Check your Blue Buzz email for more information and to sign up. At 5 p.m., the evening corny will be taking place around the lakes. Enjoy a corn maze, corn dogs, popcorn, crafts, and as well as the cornhole tournament starting at 6 p.m. It costs $6 per person to participate in the tournament and benefits will go to the Walk to Defeat ALS. There will be prizes for the first place team. At 6.30, head on over to the McDonald Gymnasium to cheer on women's volleyball as they go against Tufts. Then, at 8 p.m., head to Hempstead Stadium to cheer on men's rugby as they go head-to-head -head against UMass Dartmouth. Be sure to support your fellow girls. On Saturday at noon, support our athletes and head to the football game at Hempstead Stadium as the Gulls go up against Rochester. At 4.30, women's soccer will be taking on Clark University at Hempstead Stadium. Good luck to all our student athletes. After a day of sports, stop by Late Night Loca for a little Zen mini canvas painting. On Sunday at 8.30 a.m., there will be a walk to end Alzheimer's in Andover. This is an annual gathering that attracts more than 600 communities nationwide to raise awareness and funds for Alzheimer's care, support, and research. Sign up to participate through the link in your Blue Buzz email. At noon, rugby will be taking on Salve Regina at Hempstead Stadium. Then at 1 p.m., field hockey will be going up against Bates in Northfield. Be sure to go and check them out. Later in the day, the Christian Students Prayer Group meets in the chapel from 8.15 to 9.15 p.m. On Monday, from 10 a.m. to noon, the Community Giving Tree is holding another volunteer opportunity. Check your Blue Buzz email for more information and to sign up. At 6 p.m., join Yoke Club as they present a Sweat Fix Sculpt class around the lakes. A Beverly Fitness Studio is coming to Endicott to give this class for free to all Endicott students. Sign up through your Blue Buzz email. At 6.30 p.m., head to the Interfaith Chapel for a special sauce. A spiritual practice is a key to being successful. On Tuesday, the Jewish Community Semester kickoff dinner is in the chapel from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. 
And at 6 p.m., Gullies in the, writing in, in the Writing Center invites you to learn a latte and enjoy coffee and pizza from 6 to 8 p.m. while reading, writing, and discussing your writing assignments with peer and professional tutors who are eager to help. Then stick around for Gullies Trivia Night starting at 8 p.m. On Tuesday, there will be a trip to the Red Sox game at Fenway Park. Check your Blue Buzz email for more information and to purchase tickets. Transportation will be included in the ticket cost. Interested in making a difference in someone's life? Apply now to be a Big Brothers for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program on campus. Applications are due by September 12th. And now we're going to turn to Julia and Pat for sports. Welcome back to the fall semester girls and to a new season of EC Sports. I'm Julia Keegan. And I'm Pat O'Donnell. Let's look at how our teams performed this past week. For the second straight week, Endicott freshman Julia Adrian has been named the CCC Women's Cross Country Rookie of the Week. On September 7th, Adrian re registered at 13th place finish in the field of 80 runners at the Endicott Invitational. Adrian ran a time of 20 minutes and 33 seconds over a 5-kilometer course, helping the girls to a second place showing at a team. Endicott student athlete Joe Koloski and Joseph Paget have earned Commonwealth Coast Football Weekly Awards. Koloski has named the CCC Football Offensive Player of the Week, while Paget claimed Defensive Rookie of the Week accolades, respectively. In Endicott's 55-27 to 27 win over Framingham State University on September 6th, Koloski had a strong season opening performance. The senior quarterback went 21 for 28 through the air for 374 yards. Five of those passes also ended up in the end zone as Koloski matched his career high with five touchdown passes. Meanwhile, Paget debuted was the, a memorable one for the freshman defensive back. Paget record, recorded three tackles and also picked off two passes on Friday night, while one of those interceptions was uh, returned 37 yards for a touchdown. The Endicott golf team got 2019 fall season underway on September 7th and 8th finishing ninth in the 15-team field. The two-day tournament was hosted by Brunswick Golf Club with Bowdoin College serving as the hosts. Leading the way for Endicott were Nick Grimbalis and Clark Brown. The two freshmen finished tied for 18th and 20th, respectively, in their debut action. Graduate student Dylan Sieber finished the tie for 35th in 75-man field, while Ronan Lucy and Jack Bushy finished tied for 43rd and 54th, respectively. Endicott women's tennis student athlete Cameron Foley and Olivia Bartley have both earned Commonwealth Coast Conference Weekly Awards. Foley earned her first ever CCC Player of the Week Award, while Bartley won her second CCC Rookie of the Week Award. Foley contributed two points in Endicott's 6-3 win over Bridgewater State this week. She picked up a victory at number three doubles with partner Cameron McMack and then earned a straight set win at number three single. Bar Bartley picked up, a, picked up a victory at number one singles in the win over Bridgewater State. Coming off of a 3-2 week in which the Gulls defeated the highest nationally ranked foe in the program history, Mackenzie Kennedy and Colin, Colleen McAvoy were named CCC Libero and Player of the Week respectively. Kennedy was outstanding in the 3-2 week for the Gulls, leading them first to a 3-2 win over regional power MIT before anchoring the defense in wins against Rhodes and number 14 Christopher Newport at Barry National Invitationals. For, Mc for McAvoy, the reigning AVCA Region Rookie of the Year was named CCC Player of the Year after leading the Endicott offense during a 3-2 week. Finally, the Endicott softball team officially announced the newest member of its program on Sunday, September 8th, as eight-year-old Kendall Winneberg joins the Gulls via her team impact draft day, which, which was held at the Endicott College Softball Complex. 
Kendall's draft day festivities included signing a national letter of intent at the at the conclusion of the press conference. We are beyond excited to welcome Kendall and her family into the into the Endicott softball program, said head coach Katie Bartoncourt. That's all for Sports Recap this week, girls. Get out there and support your teams. And now it's time to get agricultured with our friend Amy. Hello, and welcome back to Get Agricultured. I'm Amy Couture, and today I thought I would inform you of a dangerous species from down under. The drop bear is a large predatory marsupial related to the koala bear. They look very similar, but the drop bear has canines that are and are over twice the size of regular koala. Unfortunately, like the koalas, drop bears also have chlamydia. Drop bears are on the southeast coast of Australia and on Tasmania. They can be found in closed canopy forests and open woodland. They are never seen near roads or human civilization. These creatures mainly eat medium to large species of mammals like kangaroos and mar marcopods, which are usually larger than the drop bear itself. The way they kill their prey is by sitting in trees for hours, only to drop out of the tree to make a surprise kill. They can drop as much as eight meters high. If the prey is even small enough, sometimes the drop bear will pull the prey back up into the tree. Drop bears do sometimes prey on humans, normally tourists that don't fully understand the danger. Some Australians wear spiky helmets or put Vegemite or toothpaste behind their ears to help repel drop bears. Most people use drop bear repellent. That's all I have for you this week on Get Agriculture. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Now let's take a look at the clubs and orgs fair with Jenna. Hi, I'm Jenna Brown and I'm here with ECTV at the Fall Involvement Fair. Let's take a look at what some of these clubs have to offer this semester. All right, we're here with Film Club. Let's see what these guys have to offer with their new club. All right, hi guys. So we meet on Wednesdays nights at 7 p.m. in the WAX, room 128. And we're going to be doing some screenings of movies and hopefully we're going to make our own film this semester. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, we're, drama, we're Spotlight Drama Club. We're the uh, student-run theater club on campus. Um, everything we do is student-run from directing and acting to stage managing and lights. It's all done by students. Um, we're doing a cabaret this fall and we put it on all together and that's basically it. Thank you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Evan Alfano. Tell us a little bit about what you do on your radio station. So, our radio station, which is the campus's radio station located in Lower Callahan. Um, my current show, I talk about sports, um, specifically in the Boston area. But we got people like Tim over here does a um, music uh, show. So you can really do whatever show you want, whether it's music, news, sports, got all types. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. So um, coming up in the performing arts, we have all sorts of things going on this semester. The next thing um, theater-wise on our list is the importance of being earnest. Auditions are Sunday and Tuesday, and it is a brilliantly British, witty, whimsical comedy for all ages, stages of theater. Um, we also have Endicott Singers starting on Monday, and that's an open uh, rehearsal, so you can come in and try it out. Same with pep band, modern band, chamber ensemble, jazz band. Um, what am I missing? Constellations, you can check them all out this coming week. Um, and you don't have to commit, it's like sort of like ad drop. And um, dance, all things dance are happening as well too, as you know. Yeah, anything else I can, oh, and Drama Club has cabaret auditions as well. Yeah. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm a tutor at the Writing Center. At the Writing Center, we just help um, other peers at any stage of their writing process, whether it's um, brainstorming, helping them organize their paper, do citations, and proofread, and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Mel. This is Jess, Meg, and Allie, and we're all the board members of EC Buddies. So EC Buddies is a club that uses um, special ed uh, adults in the community come and visit us and we do programs such as Halloween, trick or treat, Thanksgiving just to help build the community with them so it's super low commitment so if you can come join it's super fun and sign up. Uh, my name is Nick Favalli. I am a co-chair of Relay for Life here at Endicott 
Uh, basically, what we are is a uh, really fun fundraising uh, committee where we have a 12-hour event in the spring, um, an overnight event here uh, at the Post Center. It's a great time. Uh, we also have fundraisers throughout the whole year, so you can always just donate and give back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and I'm here with Gaming Goals. We meet on Thursdays from 5.30 to 8.30. Come play some board games, video games, D&D, &D, whatever you want. I'm Gail Cantor. I'm the director of Spiritual Life. And one of the things I run is an initiative called Gull's Pause, encouraging everybody to put their phone down for 10 minutes a day, take a pause, meditate, maybe participate in a shamanic journey and get your power animal, whatever. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. The Jewish community here at Endicott. Hi. I work closely with Gail. I work closely with these guys because we just want to introduce spiritual and religious practice to everyone who wants to enjoy some of the richest traditions in Western civilization. So we offer five or six events every semester. We also are connecting students with Jewish heritage to a free trip to Israel. And we like to create an environment in the chapel that just allows people to relax and be themselves. And so we hope they come. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello. So this is the Endicott Christian Community. And here we get together on Mondays and Fridays to join in fellowship with each other as Christians. And we have Bible study on Friday where we dive deeper into the Word. And we love having new people. We love seeing new faces come to our club and we are very accepting. We also have um, some new groups starting within our club. We have the Catholic group so if you are raised Catholic and you want to learn more about that or if you're just wondering what that even means, uh, we have all sorts of things coming up this semester as well. So thanks guys. Hi I'm here with Sam Dorgan. Can you tell us a little bit about the Alliance? So the Alliance is um we're a bunch of students on campus just get together and have a safe space for the LGBT community, but we also have allies that are amazing. Um, and this year, it's just going to be a great year. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, so the Endicott Agency is a great opportunity for people on campus who want an integrated marketing communication experience where you get to work collaboratively with people on campus and you get to know people, you get to figure out how you get to work together on solving problems in the marketing world with real life clients like Ocean Spray, Snapple, Wiener Schnitzel, and this year our client is an Adobe, so we're really excited to do some fun stuff as a team. So come join. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here at the Involvement Fair. Back to the desk. Jenna is back again with details on the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Hi, my name is Jenna Brown and we're here in the Frady's Quad for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Let's talk to some of the students and see why they're here today. Hi, I'm Kira Sherrier and I'm here to support ALS and I'm here with my track team today. Um, I'm Brandon Candelaria. I'm a sophomore um, and I'm here to support uh, ALS research and do the Ice Bucket Challenge with the rest of the school. All right, thank you very much. All right, I'm here with Abby Skarin and Alexis Cole. Can you guys tell us why you guys came here today? Um, I think it's a really good cause, and it's like a really good thing that the school is doing this. And I'm just here to support ALS and give them, donate some money and you know have a good time. All right, thank you guys. Hi, my name is Rob Ackerman. I'm a senior elementary education major from Bedford, Massachusetts, and I'm here to show how I have been able to raise over $17,000 for ALS through a Breaking Through ALS fundraiser in my hometown at my karate school. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Hi, my name is Emily Booth, and we're here with the Endicott College Dance Team, and we support ALS research because it's a great cause that we're all very passionate about. I'm Matt Cruz, and I'm here to support ALS. I'm Nick Hayes, and I'm here to support ALS. <laughs> Without further ado, I'd like to introduce President DeSalvo. Every one of you is doing something to help change the world. Endicott, you never cease to amaze our family. I am blown away by you guys tonight. This is unbelievable.
that's all we have for this week, girls. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.